Hey guys, um, I want to talk about density and how to use it on different hair types as either a rinse off or leave in. There's so many different ways to use this product, which is why it's one of my favorites. It's very versatile. Um, but first, let's talk about primarily what it is. It is a hair mask. So most people will be using this in the shower on damp hair just the way that you would use a hair mask. Um, and if you haven't used a hair mask before, oh my God, this is so exciting. You get to use Density as your first hair mask. Um, what I like to recommend is that, you know, you've shampooed, you've conditioned. Um, I'm gonna pause there because not everyone is going to want to condition. I think if you have like on the finer side of hair, then you could, you could just shampoo and then use this in place of your conditioner. Um, me, I shampoo and I condition because my hair needs a lot of moisture. Um, so I shampoo, condition, and then I go in with the density. Um, I work it through my hair in the shower. I don't put it in at the roots, but you can. It just depends on how much moisture you want at your roots. Um, I need volume, so I don't, but some people need moisture at the roots. So in that case, yes, you can put density in at your roots. Um, so you're in the shower, your hair is damp, you can um, brush it through. That's what I do. I use a wet brush and I brush it through my damp hair. Um, and then I give it like, you know, five, 10 minutes, do other shower things, um, and then rinse it out. And that's, that's how you would use it as a hair mask. Now, you don't have to rinse it out, which is really cool. Um, you can leave it in and it becomes a leave-in conditioner. Now, um, not everybody really needs that. This is really for somebody who has dry hair. Um, for me, it's, I, I like have to leave it in um, because my hair is very dry. So what I do in that case is, um, you know, out of the shower, done all your shampooing and conditioner and everything, um, and I'll just, you know, work it through my hair and brush through. Now that is if I am blow drying my hair. Now, for anyone who wears their hair natural, you're probably thinking, well, I don't generally brush my hair after I get out of the shower. Yes, I mean, I don't know if everybody knows this, but I, mean, I think it's called like the curly girl um, approach. And if you want to retain your hair's natural curl pattern, you it's like the first step, the most important thing is that you do not brush or comb your hair once you get out of the shower. That all has to be done in the shower. So what I do on days that I'm wearing my hair natural is I will flip my head upside down in the shower. This is after shampooing and conditioning. Take the density, work it through, brush it out. And then it's like my hair kind of like returns to like the, the blob. It's like a blob of hair. So I'm upside down and then I, scrunch it and I just kind of like um not really aggressively but just you know you kind of like scrunch the curls and that as you squeeze it it releases that excess water and you're not you know at that once you start doing this you're not raking your hands through your hair you don't brush it you don't comb it like now it's like the curls that form when you're doing this like those are your curls do not disturb so Scrunch it, let the water come out, and then, you know, I get out of the shower, flip my head back over, and like, just do not touch it. Now, at this point, um, the only thing that I might add is sugar pie, which we'll talk about in a different video. And again, if you're wearing your hair naturally curly, you're not gonna be like raking it through. Anything that you apply, whether you're spraying in a leave-in conditioner, or a hairspray or whatever it is, if you're going curly, do not disturb the curls once you're out of the shower. Um, if you do, you guys probably already know this, but it just, it turns into, it's crazy. 
Um, so that's my recommendation for using density with curly hair is basically use it as your leave-in conditioner. Um, you know, they call it the plopping, you know, hat upside down, plop it, scrunch it, get the excess water out, and then don't touch it. And during this phase, during the drying process, it is like, like nobody can come near me. Um, you know, you just, because if anything touches it, that's when I start to get frizz or, you know, whatever, or the curls start to get upset. I want, you know, to support your curl pattern and get the best looking curls, then leave them be, do not touch. You will look insane while your hair is drying. Like it'll be like everywhere. Do not touch it until it is dry, like fully dry. Not even like, oh, it's a little bit damp fully dry. And then you can just, you can mess with it. You can break up the curls. You can make it crazy, whatever you want to do, but the curls need to set. And that is my PSA on curly hair. I kind of um, got off on a tangent a little bit with density. Um, what else can you do with it? Okay. So we covered a mask. We covered a leave-in conditioner. Now, you can also use it, this is just a little bit, to kind of refresh your curls, you know. Um, so I have second day hair right now. You know, my curls are getting a little bit, like they're losing some of their pizzazz, I guess. So, you know, you, you can use this to kind of redefine them or to, I've got like the halo, you know, which, you know, the halo gives volume, so I'm kind of about the halo. But if you're trying to like look more polished, um, you can use the density to clean up the frizz. Um, I'm not gonna go into depth because I could sit here like, you know, for hours and define each curl, but um, that would be really boring for you guys to watch. So, um, so yeah, you know, you can use it just to clean up the curls or, you know, if you have a blowout, you know, you can even like put it just, you know, I don't, it depends on how frizzy and curly your hair is. Like some people's hair, if you have a blowout, you add even just like the tiniest bit of moisture and it's like, oof. Um, but if not, you know, you can get away with just kind of using it to smooth. And if you have straight hair, um, it can add like a little bit of uh, hold to your style. So, um, one of the girls in our lab likes to just kind of like work it through her dry hair, like if she's putting it up um, and then it just kind of tames flyaways. So very versatile. Um, one other thing that you can do, if you want like a super hydration bomb, you can take the density and squirt in some sugar pie and that just kind of like boosts the, basically boosts the oil phase, the oil load in the formula. So it's like, you're kind of playing chemist. Um, so, you know, you take the density in your hand, squirt in some sugar pie, rub it, you know, like get it evenly work together. And then you can use it as a, a leave-in treatment. I like to do that overnight. Um, and just like, the reason I like to do it overnight is because, then like I can wake up looking like my hair is oily and it doesn't matter. I can just rinse it out. Um, and that means I can put more in and that's like super, super hydrating. Um, but you could do that too in the shower. Um, and it'd be like a super boosted mask, or you can do that as a leave-in if you need a lot of moisture. Um, but, but yeah, that is how you would kind of like, uh, super boost the density is just add a little bit of sugar pie. Um, so just to recap, we did traditional hair mask in the shower. We did leave-in conditioner, um, which can be done either just like a typical leave-in conditioner where you brush it through and then heat style or air dry, or if you're going curly, <sighs> It's a whole thing, you know, just put it through, do not disturb, let it dry, and then you will have more defined, you know, 
hydrated curls. Um, and then for a touch up on dry hair, just take a little bit. Um, I always like to, I don't know if I mentioned this, I really like to like get it all over my hands because then it's, you know, like if you just have like a blob of it and like put it on dry hair, then you're gonna get like, this is being a blob. So cover your hands with it and then work your hands through your hair. And that way it's, it's getting more of an even distribution, which we want because then you don't get like soggy spots or like, you know, and then you don't have to like brush it through. Yeah, when you rub it through your hands and then through your hair. And the last thing we talked about is adding the sugar pie to the density for the super boosted ultra moisturizing treatment, which can either be done in the shower, overnight, put a towel down on your pillow, trust me on that one, um, or as a really, really hydrating leave-in, um, which I could, like, if you're thinking, like, who's, where's, what hair type would do that? I could get away with it. Um, I probably wouldn't do that like every time. I mean, to be fair, I leave in both density and, you know, sugar pie in my hair um, when I, you know, every time that I style my hair. But, you know, when you mix them together, you have less control over the ratio. So you might get more sugar pie than you want, or, you know, maybe not enough. So, I mean, for the most part, you can go in separately as well. But, you know, I think where they really shine together is kind of like as a combined treatment overnight. Um, and that is how you use the density mask.